after covering the chapter of energy and energy interaction or you can say work interaction or heat interaction our next chapter of thermodynamics would be first law of thermodynamics right we already studied the zeroth law of thermodynamics which gives us the concept of temperature and concept of thermometer right zeroth law of thermodynamics says if body a and body b are in thermal equilibrium body b and body c are in thermal equilibrium separately then we can automatically say that body a and body c are in thermal equilibrium that is the basic of concept of temperature or you can say zeroth law of thermodynamics now we are going to study that is what is the first law of thermodynamics or it can it is also known as that conservation of energy we all know that that energy is always conserved it can neither be created nor be destroyed the total energy in the system or the total energy interactions will be conserved right we will see the first of all the statement of a first law of thermodynamics the statement of first law of thermodynamics says that for a closed system right i am underlining the important points for a closed system which is undergoing in a cycle so the first law of thermodynamics is for a closed system which is undergoing in a cycle the net heat transfer net heat transfer means during that cycle it may be possible that some heat comes into the system and some heat goes out of the system so the net amount of heat interaction between the system and surrounding is equal to the net work transfer net work transfer means if during that cycle there may be a case that at some process system is doing some work and in another process that surrounding is doing that some work on the system so the net work transfer in a cycle for a closed system is equal to the net heat transfer in a cycle for a closed system so this is the statement of your first law of thermodynamics it is says that the net energy interaction the net heat interaction will be equal to the net work interaction for a closed system this is only valid for this formula that is the net heat transfer is equal to net work transfer this is a summation of heat will be equal to the summation of work only and only valid for your closed system system must be closed that is there is no mass transfer only energy transfer can take place and that system must undergo in a cycle we already see that what do we mean by a thermodynamic cycle thermodynamic cycle means the system will undergo a cycle so that the initial and final points of that process or of that cycle will be same right thermodynamic system means thermodynamic cycles means the initial and final points of a system must be same then in that case if the system is closed so we can say that net heat transfer is equal to net work transfer we already see what is the sign convention for a work transfer right in the previous chapter we already see that the sign convention for a work transfer is work done by the system if your system is doing some work to the surrounding is positive and work done on the system if surrounding is doing some work on the system is negative so we have to see what is the sign convention of heat right sign convention of heat is heat added to the system if heat is transferring from surrounding to the system it should be taken as positive and heat goes out of the system if heat transferred from the system to the surrounding that heat should be taken as negative these are the generalized sign convention which we are going to take in our rest of the discussion that work done by the system positive work done on the system negative heat added to the system positive heat added or heat rejected by the system is negative right these are the sign conventions so if we are saying that suppose this is a pv diagram a generalized pv diagram it is there i am saying that any system which is undergoing a cycle suppose this is the initial point of the system this is first point one is the initial point so one process is this one from here the system is going to this point two via some process a 
This A is a sum any any random process. It may be isothermal, constant volume. It may be anything. So the system is going from initial point to this point two via process A and come back to its initial position by via process B, right? So system will come to its initial position via path A. So system the cycle will be from one from via A to two. from 2 via path b to 1 this is our cycle so initial and final points are same and i am saying that in the process 1 a 2 in this process in this forward process suppose heat added to the system is qa let us take heat added to the system is qa and work done on the system this arrow is saying that work done on the system from work done by the surrounding on the system is wa and when this system this process is coming back to its initial position via path b we are assuming that work done by the system on the surrounding is wb and heat rejected by the system is qb so this is a complete cycle that system will come back to its initial position so according to first law we are saying that net heat transfer will be equal to net work transfer for this cycle if i am saying the net heat transfer will be heat is added to the system heat is rejected by the system so we are taking heat added to the system as positive qa heat rejected by the system is negative minus qb this is the net heat interactions this is your net heat transfer this much of net heat is transferred in the system or out of the system it all depends upon the magnitude of this qa and qb suppose if qa is more than qb this value will be positive positive means heat is net heat is added into the system and if the magnitude of this qb is more than this qa so this value will be negative so negative means heat is added or to the surrounding or heat is net heat is released by the your system so this is the net heat transfer what is the net work transfer we are saying that wb is the work done by the system which we are taking as positive wb and wa is work done on the system by the surrounding so we are taking as negative so minus wb this is your net work transfer this is our net work transfer so according to our first law of thermodynamics for any closed system which is undergoing a cycle the net heat transfer that is qa minus qb will be equal to net work transfer that is wb minus wa this is the first law of thermodynamics generalized statement now we are saying now we are going we want to see what this first law of thermodynamics will tell us so the next topic will be our results of your first law so first one is this this first law of thermodynamics told us that heat transfer is a path function in previous chapter we already see that work transfer is a path fun path function it do not depend upon its initial and final position work transfer will depend upon the path taken by a process right if the path is different then work done will be different work transfer will be different so we are already seen that work transfer is a path function not a point function so if work transfer is not a point function then work transfer will not be a property of the system because properties are point function depends upon initial and final conditions if it is not a property then it is a not an exact differential we already see all this just a brief discussion now we want to know that whether the heat transfer is a path function or a your point function we want to understand what whether the heat is a point function or a path function so this first law of thermodynamics told us that the heat transfer is a path function so let us see how this will come that heat transfer is a path function suppose we have a system we have a closed system which is act, which is acting between these two points point 1 and point 2 i am taking two cycles first cycle is 
that system is going from point 1 to 2 via path A and come back via path B. So our first cycle is 1 A 2 coming back via point B via path B. So 2 B 1. This is our first cycle. This one is our first cycle. Second cycle is we are saying that second cycle is you are going via path A but coming via path C. There are n number of cycles which will be acting between point 1 and 2. So I am saying it is going from point 1 to point 2 via same path that is A but coming back via different path C. So the second cycle is 1 A 2 C 1. Right. We have two cycles. So we are applying the first law of thermodynamics for both of them. Right. We are applying first law of thermodynamics for both of them. What the first law of thermodynamics says? First law of thermodynamics for a cycle says the net heat interaction between a the net heat transfer is equal to the net work transfer for a closed system undergoing a cycle. So we are taking first of all this first cycle. I am saying that net heat transfer means the heat transfer dq dq is the heat transfer I am taking heat transfer in the process 1a2 plus heat transfer in the process when it is coming back is 2b1 2b1 this is a net heat transfer it may be positive it may be negative it depends upon the situation heat is added if heat is added to the system it is positive heat is rejected by the system it is negative so i am just taking a value that is magnitude that dq this this is the heat transfer in this system in this process 1a2 this is the heat transfer in this process 1 2 b1 this will be equal to this will be equal to our net work transfer in this cycle 1 a 2 b 1 net work transfer will be your dw is the work transfer in the process 1 a 2 plus work transfer in the process 2 b 1 right it may be negative it may be positive if work is done by the system positive if work is done on the system is negative it may, it may be anything we are just taking a magnitude of it so this is the net heat transfer in this first cycle this is the net work transfer in this first cycle so this is for first cycle so similarly we are writing the first law of thermodynamics for the second cycle that is 1 a 2 c 1 so the net heat transfer in second cycle is dq in process 1a2 in this process heat transfer plus heat transfer in the process 2c1 when it is coming back via path this this is 2c1 this will be equal to net work transfer in this process 1a2 1a2 plus net work transfer in process 2c1 in this process what is the work transfer will be dw 2c1 these two equations we are getting if i am subtracting this equation if i am subtracting the equation first from equation 2 if i am subtracting so this 1a2 1a2 will cancel dq this dw 1a2 dw 1a2 will cancel so from here we are getting that you are dq into dq for the process 2b1 minus dq for the process 2c1 only these two will left dq for the process 2b1 minus dq for the process 2c1 will be equal to dw for the process 2b1 minus dw for the process 2c1 right this will get so if we are writing here that dq for the process 2b1 minus dq for the process 2c1 is equal to dw for the process 2b1 minus dw for the process 2c1 so what is that equation tell us that 
there are two ways to coming from point 2 to point 1. From point 2, we are coming back to point 1 via two path. First one is this 2C1, another one is this 2B1, right? And we know that, that the work in the process 2B1, in this process 2B1, will not be equal to the work in the process 2C1. Because both the paths are different and we know that, we know that the work transfer is a path function, not a point function. In both of the process 2 to 1 via path B or via path C, in both the process, initial and final points are same. But as work is a path function, the path, path taken by the two process are different. So work will be different. So we are saying that this DW2B1 will not be equal to DW2C1. So this should not be equal to 0. So we are saying that heat transfer in the process 2B1 should not be equal to heat transfer in the process 2C1. If this is not equal to 0, that means the this, this equation that is DQ for the process 2B1 minus DQ for the process 2C1 which is not equal to 0 that means these two terms are not equal. There is some, some difference will be there. These two terms are not equal. So what is this equation means? What is this equation tell us? This equation will tell us when the process is coming, when the, your system is coming from point 2 to point 1, your initial and final points are same. But in different paths, this, this system will take one path via B or another path via C. So we are saying that heat transfer when it is taking this path B will not be equal to heat transfer when it is taken path C. Your initial and final points are same, but heat transfer in both of the process are different. That means your heat transfer will not depend upon the initial and final points. If the heat transfer will depend upon the initial and final points, then we can say that because these two process 2B1, 2C1, initial and final points are same. So the heat transfer, if the heat transfer will be a point function, then the heat transfer via path B and via path C must be equal. But with the help of this derivation, we can conclude that the heat transfer in process B should not be equal to the heat transfer in process C. So that means heat transfer do not depend upon the initial and final points. So it is not a point function, heat transfer is a path function. So this is the important thing that work transfer is a path function and heat transfer is also a path function. And if we know that if heat transfer is a path function, so it will not be a property of the system because same same applied on the heat as we discussed in work transfer that work transfer is not a property because property is a point function right same here in heat heat is a path function so it will not be a property if it is not a property it will not be an exact differential and also like our work transfer heat transfer is also a boundary phenomena we are saying that heat transfer we are saying in thermodynamics that heat is transferring only when it crosses the boundary either heat is going out of the system or either heat is coming into the system but it must cross the boundary if it is not crossing the boundary we are saying that there is no heat transfer in the system inside the system anything can happen we are not concerned about the heat transfer is said to be occur only and only when it crosses the boundary.